Hey everybody, do you want to see how we make uh, this beautiful star dish in the patriotic colors? We tried a new resin today. It is a one inch deep pour versus two to four inches. So it cured a little bit faster. The bottle says 24 hours. Our results were a little bit longer because of the temperature in the room, uh, but still took less than two days, which was excellent. Very satisfied with that. Super easy to make painting on the mica powder. Uh, so stick with us. Let's see how we make this together. And I want you to, I want to thank you for joining us as we resin together. Hey everybody, so we are back. We have our mold today that we're working on. This is a star mold. Um, made several videos recently of painting on mica powder and those seem to be very popular. Uh, it's definitely something that is new to me, but I've enjoyed doing, so we're gonna start working on that. Um, using uh, this mold, I got several molds in, so we're gonna be using those the next several weeks as we do these. Like I said, this is a star, it's a dish. So I think it'll look good like I always do when I get a mold. I uh, wrote how much it holds in the bottom on the underside so I have that ready so I don't have to worry about trying to measure and figure out how much goes in it. Uh, so what we're going to do is paint on the mica powder today. Uh, we're using the uh, cobalt blue. going to go with a red, white, and blue star. I think that'll look pretty. So the cobalt blue from Black Diamond. I have a candy red from uh, Eye Candy. And then for May Spring, a nice uh, pearl, white pearl. We're going to do, so I'm thinking we're going to do um, probably the blue here and the red around the edge and then kind of feather between the two with the white uh, to put that in. So we're going to get started um, and paint on the blue first. And uh, I won't make you watch all this. I'll speed up the video so you guys can get an idea of, of how it goes. Okay, so before I paint the white, I'm just going to very gently, because uh, I got some red in the very center of where I want the white, and I want to get rid of that because um, it will definitely kind of ruin our effect. So just a paper towel, a little bit of isopropyl alcohol will help get that right off. Again, not trying to get a perfectly clean line, but some of the powder got up in the very center of where I want my uh, white to be, and that would definitely mess up the uh, the look we're going for. So we get that cleaned up, and let me just uh, spray. You probably saw me painting off of my board too. I uh, spilled. I've got a little bit of the mica powder on the outside of the bag and I didn't want to waste it so I used it from the board just to not waste. There we go. Let's switch brushes because that red will definitely show through and let's move on to our white. Now this one might be a little more difficult because it's hard to see. It's not bad. All right, let me. Get some fast forwarding going and we'll finish this one up.
do, I'm going to put on some gloves before I try to flip it inside out. And that's because my fingers and the oil will pull the mica powder off when I rub across it. The gloves don't stick to the mica powder quite so much because there's just, just the nitro. Uh, so we want to avoid, as we turn it, rubbing across because that will definitely uh, rub the mica powder off. So as I'm pushing, I'm doing my best to move my fingers without rubbing hard against the mold. I mean, you can't really avoid, ah, as it gets tight, putting pressure on there, but you want to put as little as you have to to get it to turn out. There we go. All right. So we are ready to move forward. Now today for resin, I'm using a new resin to me. I've used products from Liquid Glass before, uh, but this one is their one inch liquid glass. So it's made instead of a two inch deep pour, it's a one inch deep pour. It is, uh, but very liquidy still, which is great for these deep molds. It's only made for one inch, but that's about perfect uh, for this mold. It's a uh, very uh, loose consistency, so it should pour well. It's released the bubbles excellent. Uh, so I'm excited to see this. The best thing is it's um, kind of a compromise for my quarter inch resins that I use. They usually cure within about eight hours. My deep pours take anywhere from two days to three days to cure. This is about a 24 hour cure. So, and that's with that one inch. So we're gonna give it a try and see how it, how it does for us today. As always, I'm gonna pour slowly uh, because when you're filling molds like this, there's definitely a chance that you will get uh, resin bubbles caught in the corners. And we don't want that to happen. There we go. And it's just thick enough that it will ever so slightly dome, which is perfect. Uh, so we've got that in there, dome just a little bit. And we're gonna give that time to cure. Hopefully I'll let you know if it really took 24 hours. Uh, it should be, uh, that's what the bottle says. Uh, so we'll see how long it actually takes to cure. Of course, the temperature in the room, the house, moisture, all that uh, comes into play and may affect the cure time, but uh, I'll let you know how long it takes, uh, but I'm excited because they make a good product. So this should be another example of their products that I really like. So we'll come back as soon as we're ready for the next, uh, for the unmolding. All right, everybody. So our uh, star tray has cured rock hard. Um, it took a little more than 40 hours. It took about 36 uh, but that being said, my room was between 70 and 73. Resin does best at 75 to 80 ish, depending on the resin, read the book there. But this one, uh, could have done a little bit warmer. Uh, so it cured a little bit slower because my room was a little bit cooler, uh, than was optimal. So 36 hours though for deep pour still is really good, uh, especially for a one inch like this did and it's rock solid. So I am very happy with those results. Uh, if I had used my normal deep pour, it would have been three to four days. So this is excellent results. So let's go ahead and unmold this and see how it looks. Just going to kind of pull it away from the edge, get the seal kind of broken so it'll come away. There we go. All right. And then let's get one of the points out. There we go. Another one. There we go. Oh, there we go. All right. So there's the bottom. The red came all the way around to the top. Of the, it's got nice clear on the very back and then there's the inside so the white 
kind of definitely disappeared with the red behind it. Uh, so now knowing how that turns out, I would do it a little bit differently, but overall a nice little dish. Uh, this would be great uh, for 4th of July candy. Um, once resin is fully cured, uh, usually fully cured is uh, 7 to 30 days, so plan ahead if you're going to use it. Uh, you, you, once this is fully cured, you could use this for uh, food contact. It should be perfectly safe for that. Uh, you know, it, you don't want to cook on it or heat on it. I would use it for cold stuff, fruit or things, something like that, but uh, definitely an option or you could use it uh, for candy or something like that for the 4th of July or just for a center centerpiece. So beautiful little dish. Liked how it turned out. Uh, we'll have to play with the painting of the mica powder to get it turn out a little bit better, but I still think it's pretty. So if you enjoyed the project and you'd like to make it for yourself, we'll put the links to the uh, mold and everything in the description so you can do that. Give the video a like if you enjoyed it today. Um, if you'd like to see future videos, go ahead and hit the subscribe button to the channel so you can be notified when those videos come out. Most of all, I hope you enjoyed uh, enjoyed the video and I want to thank you for joining us as we resin together.